All right. So this is Basic Electronics Theory and Practice. It's the third edition by Sean Westcott and um, Jean um, Richter, if, that, if I'm saying that right. Wet Westcott. So both, both last name Westcott. Um, and let's see here. So um, I purchased this book. I was looking for a basic electronics book that would um, give me like a, like I have a lot of knowledge gaps and I'm, I'm not really where I need to be in terms of my electronics knowledge. And I, I wanted to make sure that I, I pretty much uh, have, have everything covered and I, I don't, I, I want to fill in those gaps and, and get to a point where I can do everything that I want to do. And I wanted to make sure I covered as much as I could. And I wanted to start from the very beginning and go up through pretty much everything or, or a lot of things. I'm sure it says basic electronics. and I'm sure there's plenty of stuff not included, but this goes up from, this starts with like what electricity is and it moves all the way up through basic electronic components, how to solder things and goes all the way up to the point where it teaches you how to make uh, robots using raspberry Pis and, and, and stuff like that. So, um, <clears throat> So let's take a look at this book. So this book covers a, it covers a bunch of stuff. Here's the back of the book. Um, yeah, it has a, all right. So we should go over the table of contents. Also worth noting, it has a it comes with a CD. I don't know who, why it would be important or what's on the CD. Um, I don't really care so much about the CD. Anyways, so it basically covers the theory. So I've started reading this and it seems pretty useful. Um, it covers like the theory behind electricity, how electricity works. Um, Currents and so and there goes my light. Um, yeah, currents and circuits, um, tools of the trade, you know, shop setup and safety, switches, resistors, capacitors, diodes, transistors. So it goes over all those components. Then uh, power sources and power supplies. It teaches you, I believe, how to make your own power supply. I paged through this a little bit. I haven't read the whole thing yet, but the plan is to read through this entire thing cover to cover. Um, even if some of it's like a review, but um, it covers soldering. Um, oh yeah, and there we go, chapter 13, constructing a power supply. Then you have digital theory, integrated circuits, memory, microcontrollers, motors and controllers, sensors, electronic communication, Arduino building, if I'm saying that right. I only read that word, um, never had it heard anyone say it. Um, so building a robot, um, NetDino building your robot, um, you know, Arduino getting your robot moving, um, NetDino getting your robot moving, um, Arduino adding sensors to your robot, NetDino adding sensors to your robot. Then it has a ras using a Raspberry Pi in your electronic projects. Then it has like cybersecurity and the Internet of Things. And then there's, you know, appendices and stuff. So, yeah, it covers all that stuff. And so far, so good. It seems I only barely just started reading this, but it seems pretty good so far, right? Like if you look at this book, it has uh, it, here, here's like uh, more more details about like uh, this is like the indexes and whatever. It covers like like for digital theory, it covers like AND gates and OR gates and truth tables, binary numbers, um, digital logic type stuff, right? For like soldering, it talks about like solder flux, lead free solder. Um, tips on how to do it, circuit boards, all that sort of nice stuff. Um, it talks about like a ton of, like practically everything you would need to know. Um, like, like under currents and circuits, it talks about waveforms, phase, alternating current, direct current, all of that stuff. So this is just includes a ton of really useful information. And um, so it's theory and practice. It gives you like a good background in the theory, but it really gives you like a lot of practical information on how to really do stuff. So like, I, I think this book is, is pretty terrific. I have not finished the book yet. I've only barely started it. But um, from what I can tell, this is pretty good. This is the book I picked out after doing um, not an incredible huge amount of, of research. There was one other book I also wanted to pick up too. This is one of two books I wanted to buy. But um, yeah, that I definitely got this one after. I, I didn't do like crazy extensive research research for days to pick out the right book but I, I looked around a bit and this seemed like the the right book for me and this seems like a really excellent book to have now pay attention to the edition this is the third edition and apparently they added a lot of stuff into the third edition i don't know what the differences are for sure off the top of my head but there are i believe supposed to be some significant differences so you get get the newest version of it right um i believe this came out and i believe this edition did come out in 2020 um, which is the time of me recording this video is 2020. So yeah, this is like, uh, 
this is September 2020 now, but I bought this in August. So yeah, copyright 2020. So this is pretty new. This is pretty recent. So the third edition is pretty recent. Um, yeah, and it starts out at the very beginning, the fundamentals. It talks about the theory, like, you know, atoms in their structure, electrons, conductors, insulators, all that stuff, how electricity works, Ohm's law, all that. So it starts out at the very beginning, and it gets up there into, like, digital logic and stuff. So it covers a lot. Um, so it covers, like, like elements and, and atoms and stuff like that. Um, but then you move along, and it covers all, all sorts of... Um, you know, co covers practical stuff like safety equipment and so on and so forth. Um, you know, it talks about how you wire things up. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to actually page through a book like this on, in a YouTube video. But, you know, it gives you like schematics and how circuits work. You know, use, using a, a multimeter and stuff like that. This is creating a potato battery. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so a, a lot of useful stuff in here. Um, terrific book. I would recommend buying this. Um, this is the one I picked for myself, and I would recommend that you also pick this book for yourself. Um, if you want more information about this book, check the link in the description. Um, so I, I'm going to have two links in the description, one to the book on Amazon, and I'm, I'm going to get it, like I get a commission if you click on that, and then I'm going to have another one to my write-up. I, I did a write-up on this book, a brief write-up. At the moment, it's just I just basically posted some pictures about of the book on my webpage. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put like a write-up with like the ISBN number, any details you'd want to know about the book and like my thoughts about the book and stuff like that. So I'm going to have a more in-detailed write-up if you check that link in the description. It's a link to my website with a detailed write-up on it. So um, that that's in the works. But um, if you click the link that goes to Amazon, um, I'll, I'll get a commit and buy it. You can buy it. You can find this book on Amazon just by clicking that link in the description. And it, it does give me a commission for it. But um, yeah, there you go. So uh, basic electronics, theory and practice. Definitely buy this book. Um, if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you probably. Um, as always, hopefully you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.